Welcome to Arts and Crafts by Kidston Connects. Today we're going to be making tissue paper lanterns out of mason jars. So let's find out how to do it. So here we have our tissue paper, our pipe cleaners, then we have our mason jar, which you don't need the top of for this activity, you just need the bottom of so you can take that off. Uh, we also have our clear glue and a paintbrush to spread the glue. So here we are tearing up some pieces of this tissue paper. It can be in any size that you want. I'm just trying to keep them kind of even and also get a variety of different shapes. So now we have all of our tissue paper torn up, which makes everything so much easier. We have it all out of the way, so now it's time to get down to gluing. I'm just taking some of my clear glue and pouring it into the top of my mason jar. So I'm using my paintbrush to spread some glue over the glass of the jar, and then I'm taking those individual sections of tissue paper, pressing it onto that glue, and then we're putting more glue on top of it in order to seal it. So as we keep going with our tissue paper, we are overlapping some of the corners. You don't have to overlap, you can if you want, um, but this is gonna, like as the colors bleed through each other, you'll get some new colors, which is very exciting. And then if you want the colors of the tissue paper that you're using to be more bright, you can do a double layer. So if you want it to be bright green, you could do two layers of green on top of each other, and that will give you a very vibrant look. And you can see as I'm making my way around the jar, I'm making sure that I don't get any glue or tissue paper on the bottom so it's not going to stick to the table when it's drying. And I'm also not putting any on the top, that's where I'm holding it with my hands. So along the top lid of the jar where um, you're screwing the top on, that's where you're going to be holding it from. You want to make sure that that's not going to get glue on it, otherwise your hands will get pretty messy and then the tissue paper will get stuck to your fingers as well.
And when I'm doing the top section along where I'm holding the jar and along where the lid's going to screw on, I'm using pieces that have flat edges. So pieces of tissue paper that were from the edge of the tissue paper sheets um, and putting those along the top so that we have a nice even line and it's not going to be jagged and it's not going to get in the way of the pipe cleaners when we put those on after.
you want to get a really smooth, clean, almost like shiny finish on the outside, it's really important that you are fully soaking your tissue paper with the glue as you apply it. So after you have your tissue paper down, stuck to this to the first layer of glue, make sure that the tissue is completely changing to a darker shade of itself with the glue that you put on top as well if there are any folds or creases in the tissue paper that's going to create like a darker line that the light won't shine through as well when you put a candle inside your lantern so try to avoid that As I am applying the last few pieces of tissue paper, they're now in smaller sections just because I'm trying to fill in the gaps, maybe get a more desirable color in different areas. Uh, you can see that I'm doing some spins and making sure that all of the paper that I'm putting on the jar has a nice thick layer of glue on top of it as well. So this is what my lantern is looking like after I have all of the tissue paper glued down to the surface. Now we need to let the glue dry until it is completely solid and no longer tacky. So after a couple hours, my jar has completely dried out and all of the glue is now solid. And if I touch it, it's not gooey, it's not sticking to my fingers, it's just a smooth surface. You can see here that I'm twisting two of my pipe cleaners together. These ones are different colors, so you get like almost like candy cane effect to it. And these pipe cleaners will be used for the part of the handle that you are actually going to be holding. So now you can see that I'm taking my other pipe cleaner and loosely wrapping it around the neck of my jar. Then I'm taking the twisted handle that I just made, tucking it underneath that loose piece, and then folding it up around. This is going to make sure that the 
two parts of the handle are opposite each other, making it really easy to grab onto. And then I'm just going to twist those back around the main part after I loop it around the bottom pipe cleaner that's going around the jar to make sure it's nice and secure. Then I'm going back in and I am making sure that the pipe cleaner that is wrapped around that lid of the jar is below the biggest lip on the jar, the biggest kind of ledge, so it can have as much to hold on to as it possibly can. And then I'm making sure that it's very tight. I'm using a pen here to try to stuff those ends back underneath so it's not sharp. And here we have it, these super brightly colored and amazingly fun tissue paper lanterns that are completely fire safe. We hope you had fun crafting with us today and don't forget to send us pictures of your own creations.